Good evening, everyone. Just wave, don't shout, just wave. Put a symbol of wave that you know that you are okay. You, you just clap the hands, you have put the symbols there. You can clap by picture or you can clap just wave. All right, it's good to see you again this week um, uh, for English language. Um, my name is um, Dululu Siangandu, your teacher. Uh, today we are continuing with uh, uh, our lesson uh, we started last week. So before we go, we go into, a second. So before we continue with uh, today's class, I want one or two people to remind us uh, what we looked at last week. So I want one or two. I'll give you a minute or two to summarize what we are looking at last week. Yes, uh, on the hands, I'm just removing those who are making noise. Sorry, I'm just, those whose mics are off, off are on, I'm just taking them out. We have got Tireshe uh, Mutare, please, Tireshe Mutare, Tireshe Mutare, you can just go ahead, Mutare. We have got Emmanuel Chitwa. You can say something. We're looking at the We're looking at the uh, uh, last time we looked about we have... the Yes, go ahead, uh, Emmanuel. Uh, we looked at the definition of a letter. Okay. What else do you remember? Okay. Is there another person who would want to add on to what? Uh, our there's a, said? there's Izukanji. Izukanji, yes. Go ahead. We looked Izu at uh, how many types of letters we have. Yes. Name them. And the definition of a letter. Okay, are you able to remember the types of letters we looked at? We looked at informal letter mm -hmm. and uh, semi-formal mm -hmm. and the okay. formal letter. Thank you so much for your answers. Um, can somebody tell us or remind us uh, what an informal letter is? I cannot hear you. Who is that can one some... who can't hear anything? Plug your mic. Plug your mic. There are about five people who are not <clears throat> going to hear us. The following, uh, Ruthie, David, you are not. Plug your mic or tap onto your mic. So always you tap on the entrance mic. There's a provision on the phone. Okay, go ahead, sir. Right, thank you so much. You can go ahead, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, friends, uh, can somebody tell us what an informal letter is? If you're able to remember what we discussed last week. What did we say an informal letter was? Informal letter, those who are there last We have forgotten week. already. <laughs> have we forgotten? Okay, there's one here. Uh, this is Benjamin. Benjamin and Temuani Mwale. You are on time today, Tim. Yes, Benjamin. Benjamin Mwewa. Sir, Benjamin, uh, yes. formal letters, these are letters. Yes, sir. Formal letters, these are letters, these are letters that we that we send either for application of jobs or to important people. Like he maybe I can say when you're applying. Oh, I think we lost. Uh, okay, we have lost. Uh, 
we have lost Benjamin. We have got other hands, uh, four hands up. This is. Maybe uh, I, I, I repeat my got... question. Jamwani. Jamwani has got the hand. And Jamwani yes. saw. Yes, Jamwani, we want you to remind us uh, what informal letters are. Informal? Yes, the ones that we were looking at last week. Okay, informal letters, they're also called the friendly letters. These are letters that you send to people of your age, like your friends. That's what I remember. Okay, excellent. That's very good. All right, so today we are continuing from where we ended last uh, week, and we are looking at uh, uh, semi formal letters and formal letters. So after this class, we should be able to know what a semi formal letter is and uh, also a, a formal letter. We also need to know the features of uh, both the semi formal letter and uh, the formal letter. So, what is an informal letter? I mean, a semi formal letter. What is a semi formal letter? So, pay attention. Uh, semi formal letters are those that we write to people. Uh, who are not of our age or class. They could be uh, older people in society. We know them, they may know us, and then we want to communicate with them. So the key here is that uh, these people are not our personal friends. Uh, we write such letters to people like, uh, for example, uh, uh, your father's friend, your mother's friend, uh, religious leaders, teachers, our parents, respected uh, older relatives, and civic leaders uh, are among the people that we write semi-formal letters to. Now, when writing such letters, um, formal English is used. Remember last week when we were looking at an informal letter, we talked about uh, language, that uh, you use the language that you use with uh, your friend when you're at play. But for this one, you're supposed to use formal English. Um, so as much as possible, as you are writing semi-formal letters, you are expected to be very, uh, you remain uh, polite because you are writing somebody who is older than you are. So you need to be respectful in the way that uh, uh, you're using. Uh, the layout of a semi-formal letter. Now, what a semi-formal letter looks like is similar to what an informal letter looks like. All the features that we looked at last week are also present in this type of letter, right? The only difference is uh, whom we are writing to. Um, so like we saw last week, even in this letter, there's one address. The address is on uh, the top uh, right-hand side of your first page. Remember we said that uh, the address indicates where you are at the time you're writing. Below the address, there's you need some space and you put your date there. You write a date the way we write a date normally. Okay, like 30th uh, June, 2021, full stop. Uh, from there, we also have uh, a salutation, just like we saw last week. But uh, this salutation, is a bit different from the one we saw last week. Now, this one depends on uh, the person that you're writing to. For example, you can write, Dear Mr. Warrior, Dear Mr. Mrs. Havenzu, Dear Uncle, Dear Reverend, Siangandu, and so on and so forth. All right? So you address uh, this, this people you're writing to. And like in the inform informal letter where we say that you write, the, your friend's first name or your brother's first name. Um, after after the, the, the salutation, uh, we also talk about the purpose of uh, the informal letter, which is uh, uh, stated <laughs> in your introduction. <laughs> Semi formal letters, for example, uh, like we said, uh, the these are the letters we write to people who are not of our class, people who are older than we are. And so there are no greetings in your first uh, uh, paragraph. You go straight to state the purpose 
Uh, why are you are writing that letter? Uh, are you complaining about something? Are you requesting for something? Are you informing that person uh, on something? What do you want? Why are you writing to this person? So the purpose must be clear in your opening uh, uh, paragraph. Um, so like we've seen here, the purpose of the letter states the purpose of the letter. Then the main body, like we saw last week, even this time around, the main body is divided into paragraphs. The number of paragraphs that we mentioned already is dependent on uh, the number of new ideas that you want to talk about in your, in your, in your letter. So if you have uh, three independent ideas, you may have three paragraphs. Four independent ideas, four paragraphs, and so on and so forth. What is important is that the language remains standard English and is formal. How do you end your semi-formal letter? You end it by the words, yours sincerely. Yours sincerely. That's how they usually end, with yours sincerely. Uh, now let's look at uh, this example of uh, uh, a semi-formal letter, a letter I found interesting. I found it on uh, writetotalk.com. I just made a few uh, adjustments. Right. Are you able to see the letter? Yes. All right. Thank you. Sir. Hello. Uh, let me. Okay. Uh, guys, when your mic is on, don't even complain when you are removed. Just know that the system has shown you that your mic is on. Sir? All right. Thank you there. so much. You can go ahead. Okay, so let's look at an example of uh, a semi-formal letter. Like I mentioned, I found this letter quite interesting. Uh, I found it on writetotalk.com. So I just made a few additions here and there. So the question was, uh, you recently moved into a new rental apartment. So you recently moved, right? Your neighbor plays loud music late at night, even after several attempts to get him to stop. Write a letter to the landlord to complain. So you're writing to the landlord. You know the landlord, and the landlord knows you. Probably you meet every day, you greet in the morning, but you are not friends. And therefore, when writing to him, you're going to write to him a semi formulator. So it was the pictures we have uh, talked about already. The address is here, the date is there, salutation. And then look at the content of the letter. Look at the language that we're using and com compare this language with the language that we saw last week. So for example, in the opening paragraph where you state the purpose, we have, I'm writing to you to complain about the music coming from my neighbor's apartment every night. This music is very loud and sometimes does not stop until 3 a.m. Notice that this letter goes straight to the point. There are no greetings, there are no questions regarding somebody's health, or anything, you just go straight to the point. The main body, you now want to go into detail and uh, explain further uh, where the problem is coming from. Paragraph one, I have asked my neighbor several times to stop playing music after 11 p.m. or at least turn it down to a reasonable level. He always apologizes and promises to be quieter but then repeats this action the following night. Okay, we've gone into detail there. The third paragraph, I am, as you know, and I begin my days early. It is very hard for me to concentrate on my study when I do not have enough sleep. And it is impossible to sleep with that loud music on all night. Some of my teachers have noticed a drop in my performance due to fatigue. I hope you can do something about this situation. Please ask the tenant in apartment 305 to stop playing music after 11 p.m. If this does not stop immediately, I have no choice but to move out and demand a full refund of my rent and deposit. Thank you for your cooperation in this matter. Yours sincerely, um, Dorothy Hansen. So notice how this letter is uh, uh, presented. 
the language is strictly formal, it is clear and to the point. All right, so let's look at uh, another type of uh, a letter today, and that is a, a, a formal or business letter. Now, before we look at a formal or business letter, do you have any questions on what we've covered so far? I'll just take two or three questions. So you give us your name and the school you're from. Any questions? Two questions. Those who want to ask, put your hands up. Those who want to ask. Good morning, morning. I've seen the hand. Uh, I can see. Okay, wait. Uh, Chikombe Kasea. Chikombe Kasea, please, you can give us the answer. Chikombe is nowhere. Temwan Mwade. What if you're sending your formal letter? Chikombe is up. What if you're sending a job, a job application to someone who's a close friend? All right, I think we'll talk about that in the, in the next type of letter we want to. Look at. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Any other question? Last question. Before we there's a question from uh, from Temani. Temani Mwade. I'm sorry. I didn't get the. Huh? I didn't get the definition for semi-formal letter. Okay. Chemwani didn't get a definition of a, a, a semi-formal letter. Is there anybody there who wants to help Chemwani with a definition? Anyone anybody? who wants to come in? Anyone who wants to come in? Anyone who wants to come in? Anyone who wants to come in? To Kanji, Chilesha Mutari and the Sukanji. The semi formal letters are letters to write people. Can one? Let's start with Mutale. Semi formal letters are letters to write people. Let's start with Mutale. It's a formal letter. It's a letter that we write to someone who's of our age. The letter you want to send. You can't get you. Want to... you can't uh, get you. So Daka. So Daka. Those who have entered whose mics are on, you are going out. Okay. Immediately I say so, I will start moving out. Uh, Izukanji, can you say something? We said that a semi-formal letter is a letters that we write to people we know, but who are not our age. Okay. That is correct. Thank you so much. There's another hand there from, from Izukanji. Izukanji, you are failing to... Madam Shori, we are taking you out because your mic is making noise is kanji there's a hand from Chesha Mutari. I don't know whether it's still there. Okay you can All proceed right. sir. Okay thank you so much for your answers the correct answers. So a semi-formal letter is one that we write to uh, people like we said whom we may know uh, they may know us but then they are much older than we are. They're not of our class. All right. So the next type of uh, letter we want to look at is uh, a formal letter. A formal letter is also known as a business letter. All right. So by business here, we don't mean uh, uh, the exchange of money for goods. Right? Like you learn in business studies, uh, money for goods. No, not this type of uh, business. Uh, we we'll understand and we we'll go down what we mean by business. So a formal letter is one we write to people in their official capacity. Right? Somebody asked me if uh, the person you're writing to is a friend, uh, 
you're not writing to the, that person as a friend. You are writing to them in their official capacity. What position do they hold in that institution uh, uh, you're writing to? Right? So in their official capacity, are they managing that institution? Are they chairing that, 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 that institution? What are they? So you write to them in their official capacity, um, such that uh, even if they were to leave that office, maybe fired from that job, that office, your letter will remain in that office and the new person will attend to it, right? That is why uh, we mean by formal uh, letters. Your letter will be in that office uh, where it was addressed. Uh, it's a letter whose content is purely official. So the content of your letter, the main body from the introduction to the main body and conclusion, everything you're going to write there is purely official. Now, purely official or business information. So that's what we mean by business letter. The information that you're going to include in your letter is uh, 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 purely official information. So it can be from you, an individual, writing to an organization, all right? Or an organization writing to you. It can also be a letter from one organization to another organization and the replies thereof. Um, so we write these letters to people we may not personally know. We may not. There's a word there, may. Sometimes we, may, uh, we can know that person then, uh, but, but in, in this case, you're writing to them in their official capacity. Uh, uh, in fact, I what have I done here? Thank you, that's good. You can't move? Okay, fine. Simple. Um, what I've done, just wait. Push the case up, up to the top of the screen. Yeah. Up, are you seeing? Any, are you seeing anything? Up, it has I dropped. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Now let's look at the layout of uh, a formal letter. Now a formal letter has uh, some of the features that we've already talked about in the, the two other types of letters. There are only one or three, one or two additions uh, uh, to this letter. So, for example, we have your address there, same position, uh, top right corner of the first page. After you have below your, your, your address, after leaving some space, you have your date there. And then on the left side of the paper, you write the address of the person you are writing to in their official capacity. So how do you write that uh, address? So you begin with a title. Are you writing to the manager? Human resource manager, for example. The inspector general of police. The president. Whom are you writing to? So you write their title on top there. Mr. And then- Mr. Katete as well. Yeah, Mr. Pachete, you know. <laughs> and then the, the address of the person uh, will follow just there at the, below the, the title. So the address here should be blocked. Last week, we looked at the, the, the styles of uh, writing the address and we identified the related one and the blocked one. So here, we're going to write the blocked uh, address. And this blocked address must be well punctuated with commas separating the parts and the full stop after the name of the town. So you write the title of the person, you put a comma, and the address of the institution, a comma. The PO box and everything, comma. Then the name of the town, full stop. All right. So down there, we'll have uh, a salutation. A salutation. So you write a salutation, for example, dear Mr. Sinkala. Dear sir, dear madam, dear sir or madam, and so on and so forth. So that's how you write your salutation, right? So below your salutation, you're going to have a heading. 
the subject or the reference of your letter. Uh, we are so getting the feedback of the now is teacher you are okay the network yeah. badge huh? the All right so network. network okay are you able to hear me yes sir all right all right so just below the salutation you're going to have the heading uh, so this is usually in capital letters. This sums up the content of the letter. So the heading sums up the content of whatever you're writing in that letter. Um, so this heading is written below the salutation and it should be brief and precisely stated. So the heading also would, would depend on the type of, uh, on the form of the formal letter you're writing. Because remember, formal letters come in different forms. You can have uh, a job application letter, like somebody mentioned earlier on, and I'll say a question. You can have a job application letter. You can have a letter of complaint, a letter of a recommendation letter, a letter of inquiry, a letter to the editor. All these are formal letters. So the, 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 the heading there would, determine, would depend on the type of or the form of the, of the letter you're writing. But in which case, it should be a summary of the, the, the letter itself. Then the opening line, okay, the opening line, the opening paragraph of your letter, which is the introduction there, states what the letter is about. Are you applying for a job? Are you complaining about something? Are you requesting for something? What are you doing in that letter? What's the point of your letter? What's the purpose of your letter? So you state the purpose in the opening uh, uh, paragraph. So not that this letter does not include greetings at all. It doesn't include greetings of an inquiry about the health of the official to whom you are writing. Okay, don't you also inform them about yourself, uh, your health, and how you are doing? Just go straight to the point. Um, then uh, you go to, your, to your, the body, the main body of your essay. In this body, you're supposed to use courteous and the, uh, the tone, the language you're going to use should be courteous and professional. Uh, you're going to use formal standard English. Formal standard English. In this letter, you're going to avoid contractions. Remember in, a, in a, an informal letter, we said you may use contractions, words like don't, can't, won't. But then in a formal letter, you cannot use uh, these uh, contractions. So avoid using contractions. Avoid abbreviations and slang, right? Then the last part is uh, the ending. How do you end your formal letter? Okay. So the, the ending is also known as the closing. So the closing is done formally using the following. So you can end your formal letter with either yours faithfully or yours sincerely. Now I must explain something here. Uh, when you use yours sincerely, it means that in the salutation, you mention the name of the person you're writing to. For example, dear Mr. Banda, in the salutation, the name is mentioned. So down there, when you're closing your, your letter, you're going to write yours sincerely. But if your salutation was written uh, using uh, the, 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 the words uh, yours, I mean, dear, Sir, you have not mentioned the name. Dear Madam, no name mentioned. Or oh, dear Sir or oh, Madam, no name mentioned there. So you should end your letter with uh, yours faithfully. So just below the yours faithfully, you're going to write your signature, going to sign, uh, however for where you write your signature. Then uh, uh, below the signature, you're going to write your full name and title. So if you are Mr, you write your name, open brackets and the title there, MR, then you close the brackets. So the title will come after the name in brackets. Um, so the name is written in capital letters. Okay, so you write your name in capital letters. Uh, so 
Again, I found another uh, example in uh, a pamphlet uh, by the Kitwe District English pamphlet, page 27. Uh, an example of a uh, formal letter there. Of course, I made a few changes here and there. So let's look at it. All right. Um, so an example of a formal letter, district English, uh, page 27. So we have our address there, the space, the date, the address of the person we are writing to. So there's a title there that, that we mentioned, the manager, and then the, the address itself. Uh, please stop writing on the, on the screen. So the PO box there and name of a child Kitwe. So notice that after every line, there's a comma. After shop right checkers, there's a comma. Uh, name of a town and full stop. Dear sir or madam, you have not mentioned the name of the person you're writing to here. Subject. Application for employment as a TO attendant. It is a subject. It's a summary of the, the whole letter. Now we know that this person is applying for a job. Okay, we want to be a TO attendant. So the first line will go, will, will read as follows with reference to the advertisement that has been running on television since Monday, 15th May 2017. I would like to apply for employment. So you state the purpose of the letter. Clear. I'm 20 years old. I sat for my grade 12 examination last year and waiting for the results. I sat uh, seven subjects, which also include business studies, mathematics, and English, and I hope to pass in all subjects. All right. So I can't not... see anything. I can't see anything. Can't see anything. No. Anything, let me just check for you. Uh, uh, we are able to see what are you using. Are you using the phone or what? Check your screen nicely. Eh? Check your no, screen sir, nicely. I'm using the phone. phone. Yes, sir. I also can't see anything. Even uh, me, too, sir. There's nothing you can see here. Nothing you can see. Sir, there's nothing you okay. can see. Okay. There's nothing, sir. There's nothing, sir. There's nothing, sir. There's nothing, sir. All right, okay. okay. Uh, just, just pay attention, I'll read through. Then. Just pay attention, I'll read through the letter. All right, pay attention. And I'll the letter will the be letter. also in uh, not master, isn't it? Yes, it will. The letter will be uploaded as well. Okay. Yeah, so honestly can... speaking, I do not have experience as stated in the advertisement. However, I have basic uh, experience in, in handling cash because while at school, I helped selling in the school tax shop. I'm confident that I can still do the job to expectations. If you want more information about me, please contact my great teacher, Mr. Deniz Zulu at, at my former school, Kitwe Boys Secondary School on cell number. I'll be ready for the interview whenever you may call on me. Yours is the signal and the name, uh, Mandy Muila. Um, there are two hands here. There's this Benjamin and another Tisha. Yes. Questions? Benjamin. Benjamin. Unmute and talk. All right, so, okay, Benjamin. Uh, Nathan Chisha. We have got Nathan Chisha. The network is quite bad, I don't hear anything. 
All right, just to okay, end, then uh, David Piri. So we can't see David anything. Piri. I cannot see anything. Uh, you have been told. Uh, those who, who can't see, see anything, set your phone properly. Otherwise, the screen is on for you. Just tap a bit. You'll find you will see the screen then you can get this session this session of check the dots on i can't on. see anything oh. i still can't Blank. see anything okay so, can't see anything. Yes. Uh, no, I can't. just wait all of you those who can't see anything wait do you have the letter nearby you and send it in WhatsApp. I'll send it to them now. Now, uh, anyway, I, 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 okay, I no, can you repeat letter. that? I've moved away from the letter now. I want to summarize. Okay, the... it will be given to you. The letter will be okay. given to you. Okay, sir. All right, yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay, okay. okay. Um, just to end uh, this uh, topic that we'll be looking at for two weeks now. Um, we have been looking at uh, letter writing and we have identified the three types of letters, informal letter, semi-formal letter, and formal letters. Um, we've noticed that uh, they get their name from uh, uh, the, the kind of information or relationship we share with these people. All right. Um, I'd like to thank you so much for your commitment and uh, attention. Uh, before we look at the, our class discussion, do you have any questions? Put your hands up. There's a question from Mutare. Mutare, can you ask? Ah. There's another hand from a Brilliant. Sites, Mutari. Yes, Mutari, go ahead. Yes, Mutari. I was kindly asking if you can repeat yourself on semi formal letter, what it means. Semi formal letter. So, in this yes. case, we'll ask, we'll ask somebody to explain for, uh, for you. Uh, can we have somebody tell, to tell us what a semi formal letter is? Anybody? Kondwani? What is a semi formal letter? Brilliant would like to know what a semi formal letter is. Uh, sorry, sir, I came, I came in, in. So that's why I was raising up my hand so that they can ask if you could summarize. Okay. To help uh, Brilliant and Kondwani with the definition of a semi formal letter. Ludo, Mubanga. A semi formal letter is a letter which is written to people you don't know and who are not of your age or your classmates. All right, thank you so much. Uh, okay, there's some, uh, it's 50% correct. Any other person wants to try? I'll explain afterwards. Any other? High sense, the one using high sense, U962. Your hand is up. All right, so we say the semi formal letter is one that you write to people, you know these people, but then they're not of your age or class. They are older people in society. So you are writing to ah, from Brilliant. Um, can you repeat the example? I didn't get you. What example? Um, the one for the formal letter. Um, the one that you couldn't see on the screen. Yeah. Yes. You want me to go through it? Yes, sir. Uh, I think what we'll do is uh, we'll send it uh, or not, Master. You'll find it there. 
So it's, it's quite long. Yeah, okay, sir. Okay, sir. All right, thank you so much. So I have a few questions here. Um, the first question is, uh, what is the difference between a formulator and a semi-formulator? What is the difference between a formulator and a semi-formulator? Well, we have seen the lot of hands here. Yeah? And just a moment. Uh, just a moment. So here we are going to start with the triway omulenga. Triway omulenga. Talk triway. Unmute yourself. Yes, go okay. ahead. We are going to muise. 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 And uh, the difference, yes. hello? The difference between a semi formulator and a formulator. A formulator is one that we write to people in their official capacity, and a semi formulator is a letter that we write to people who are not our age or who are not our classmates and people uh, who read. All right, thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you. Now, okay, yeah. Any other person to give us the, the difference? I sense you 962. Please change the names so that we call you just by passing you. You put the names, not the name of the phone. I sense you 962. I sense. I'm also okay. seeing Izukanji. Izukanji. Isukanj Chimwe Mwe Chimwe Mwe So Daka Kate Run Talk, you guys. Formulators to addresses one. Come on. We have lost him. Okay. Uh, uh, okay a formal data has two addresses, while well, a semi formal has only one. All right. Thank you so much. I also clap for you. That is correct. We have another person who wants to comment on the differences between the, the formal data and the semi formal data. All right, let's look at the, uh, the second. Uh, that is Ozulu. Okay, okay can you proceed, sir? Okay, let's look at the second activity. I want you to tell me. There's a mic that is making noise. No, that one we have removed him. Don't worry. Continue, sir. Uh, I, want, I want you guys to tell me what type of letter we, we, we can uh, we may write to these people. What type of letter can we write to, for example, the Inspector General of Police, your father, your best friend, the Human Resource Officer of the company, your class teacher. So I want you to tell me what type of a letter you can write to each one of these. We have the Inspector General of Police. We have your father, your best friend, the human resource officer of the company, your class teacher. Your father. Okay, so you state what type of a letter we can write to each one of these. Imano Chitwa. There's comfort to comfort to Webupe. Sir, I want yes. just to say for human resource. Yeah. The human resource is the semi formal, the formal letter. Uh, you're saying it which one, semi or formal? Formal. Formal letter, right? 
Yes, so yeah. as you can see, there's a title here, the uh, title of, a, of, a, of, of, of the person in the official capacity as human resource manager. So we're going to write a formal letter here. Thank you so much, that is correct. So this one is out. Another person to answer the Another remaining uh, questions. Is, uh, I think that one should be removed. <laughs> yeah, that one is gone. Don't worry. Okay, go go ahead. There's a lot of hands who wants to speak. So you make sure that you mic is mute i have no second chance i see the mic on that is my opportunity okay faith musonda i wanted to say for the police general it's formal letter formal letter correct all right that is correct so you're seeing the title of the person and then you're writing to them in their official capacity as the inspector general of police all right that is correct so we're remaining with uh, your father your best friend your class teacher what type of a letter are you going to write to your father to your best friends and to your class teacher Rudo Moyanda. Um, so your class teacher are going to use a semi-formal letter. That is correct. Very good. Semi-formal letter to your teacher. So we are meeting with two, your father and your best friend. For your father, I think you should um, write a semi-formal letter. To your father, right? Okay. That is, that is correct. Excellent. And we are remaining with uh, your best friend. For the best friend, I think you should use a friendly letter. Friendly letter, also known as? Formal letter. An informal letter. An informal letter, that is correct. All right, you've been an excellent class, right? Eh? All right, so... Um, I'm going to give you another activity to do or send it as an assignment in Notes Master. Last week I sent an assignment that I think I've only seen two people who attempted to answer. I'll check again this evening. Um, so expect another assignment this week, even as uh, I prepare your test uh, this week as well. All right, so I think we've come to the end of our lesson, unless there are questions from friends who may want to know something or miss something. Any questions? Okay. There are questions, question time. We'll pick the first one from David. David Piri, can you speak? David Piri. Sir, like some of us, we failed to some given. Oh, your line is breaking, David the assignment we could submit how can we submit the assignment uh which subject which subject um it science science okay the video is ready the let me, I'll take you through. The video is ready. We'll show you done the recordings. It will be shared shortly this night. So you should take time to watch the video. However, I'll give you a bit of uh, some examples on how to go about. But the video is ready to tell you how to go about with assignment. I think that one is scattered for. Uh, when the UK team does, I'll be able to share anytime. Then those assignments which passed says offline, 
you cannot submit your V0. It teaches you to work with due date. Like in computer studies, you have got about three assignments. So I will show, I will send the video. There is a part I, I can demonstrate. Can I demonstrate? Sir. Yes. Ever okay. since they started hanging in assignments. There is a... Started? Okay. Let me just check on you. We will help you with that. I was okay. Let me ask the teacher here. Sir, you can turn the screen off on the other. Stop it. Okay. Uh, at this point in time, let me just show you a bit. Here is the platform, not master. I hope all of you, you are able to see it. Eh? Let me enter as a student. Login. This is my class, which, uh, this is my class. Which subject can I use? I'll allow you to talk. I want to chase you. Which subject? Math, sir. Math, eh? Math. Okay. Yeah. Let me go Matt. to Math. Yes, yes, sir. Now, you can mute yourselves. Confidence then there are condition. those, who were, Sir, before those who you were proceed. finding it? Yes. Yesterday yes, you showed us the same thing, but when I went to do that, it wasn't showing anything. Very good. On the phone, at times you are not going to see anything. The reason is there are two technical reasons. One, you are either using any other browser, a Google search, you are advised to use Chrome. If you are using Chrome, you can't see anything. What you need to do, you need to go back to Play Store and download, update the Chrome which is there, remove the Chrome which is there and put a new one. Is that clear? Once you put a new one, the problem will go automatically. Okay, let me just to demonstrate here, most of the people in mathematics, they were finding challenges. So when you see blank, just remove. If anything is not working with not master, remove. So like here, for mathematics, it's expired. Expired, it has expired today. You can't see anything, you have a zero. So your account, it will be giving you even the report form, it will come. So like here, uh, whoever would want to do math now, forget. When you see expired one, you have a zero. So when you say assignment, like for computer studies, for assignment, they are ending on the 3rd July, on a Saturday, which means everyone should be struggling to submit now. Then on the other part, the test start on Friday, no. It will start on Monday. The topics, I think the teachers will share the topics where the questions will come. You have to study hard. Maybe on Friday, we are going to do an example how to answer the test. You know, these are new, so you need to learn. Hey, is that okay? So apart from that, yes, sir. this is it, what happens. For yes, mathematics sir. now, for mathematics, you forget you have a zero. Let me pick, I'm going to pick six questions, seven questions. Uh, Emmanuel Mupunda, you have got a question. Emmanuel? 
Okay, let's go to Brian. We are not getting you. Uh, so I am yes. a distance learner. So when I was signing up, I clicked the option for a distance learner. And when I, it gave me a lot of more options for the subjects that I have now in school, like for example, accounting and um, just a lot of other subjects that I do now in school. But after I did that, then he didn't want to open the classes anymore, just kept on saying like an error 401 or something like that, sir. Okay, fine. So uh, this is a common challenge. Everyone who, who experienced the error 403, I'll send a link immediately. You have to fill in. I'll make you join in the class from this end. Our engineers, they are busy upgrading the system. So what I'll do is uh, we'll create the subjects just here. Immediately I'll create a form. You make sure you are in a, you are in a Telegram and you should be in WhatsApp. Or you should be in Muchinga or you should be in Western province. Three or four of those, then you should be. If you can't, it although inbox i may take long to respond to you because of tight schedules put your challenge in the group we are a lot of us we can help you to solve it so for this one i've seen the chat we can't wait what we'll do is uh, we'll help you from this end so brian thank you so much it has been a pleasure so let me just give you my contact so that uh, those who are not, I will give you the, you, you can just do the contact direct. Just a moment. Okay, now another question. Mom, who is going to ask? We have got um, Lulu, Lulu Cowboy. Lulu Kawe, we go to the next Kondwani. Uh, so sir, asking, my answer has already been my question has already been answered. You can drop the hand. If you have been answered, just drop your hand. Then uh, we have got uh, who else? Peti Musonda. Sir, me, I'm not in the WhatsApp group, and I texted you on WhatsApp to, to say add me, but you didn't add me. Just again, apologies. The whole yesterday up to now, it has been a very, very, very huge. Text again, don't get tired. I'll add you immediately after this text. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, we have got you. Put your hand down. Chisha. Sir, I can access not master, but when I press on the subject, uh, it always tells me something went wrong. So ever I don't know, master, I've never We have already addressed that one. We'll give you a link to, to fill in. So you can put your hand down. We'll do it from this end. Okay. Um, we have got a few questions. Kondwani. One from Kasama. Kondwa. Mm -hmm. Comfort. Uh, sir, how okay. can you add me to WhatsApp group? I'm not there already. You sir. are there? Okay. No. What you add me to do is it? From just him now, before I leave my computer here, just do a request. I'll give you the access. Those who want to go to the WhatsApp group immediately. 
Brilliant, so brilliant. I... Brilliant. Chimwemwe. Yes, Brent. Yes. Um, I have a question. What is oh yes? We can't see your yes. contact. We can't see your contact. You can't see my, my I can't see your contact. Yeah. Zero nine seven seven. Yes. One two six seven. Mm -hmm. One four. Don't call at midnight. There are some of you you call throughout, throughout, and you draw one you call. <laughs> okay, so I won't do that. <laughs> okay, then Chimwemwe, boys and girls, it has been a pleasure. Pass regards to your um, signing off. We are meeting tomorrow prepare for a hard test you have never written the test online you are going to write a test online thank you so much you are allowed to say hi hi as you are hi hi bye, bye. 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 subject uh, take your time to bye. 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 bye 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 Bye. 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 Bye.